One constant of the 3D printing industry has been companies skirmishes over intellectual property. Way back in 2013, Stratasys filed a lawsuit against Affinia, the US partner of Teartime, who make the UP. Plus 2. The suit had to do with market competition and dominance. But the Streisand effect is real. Their flagship printer is now famous for its elegantly simplistic design. Not just for aesthetic reasons, either. Form follows function in everything from the industrial style frame to the heated build plate. Please point your web browser to BoshDB.net, the world's robotics database, and search for the UP Plus 2 to see our full analysis of this 3D printer. With award-winning ease of use and autopilot calibration, it's hard to imagine a better starter printer. On top of that, it's one of the most compact options on the market. None of which would matter if the build quality wasn't up to par, but it is. But before you think that this covers every angle, you have to consider those 3 DIP wars. Those wars are determining ownership of aspects of additive manufacturing systems. The cold calculus is found in the battle between open source advocates and those with proprietary leanings, and between founders and the organizations they've departed. Plus, the constant struggle of acquisition and licensure between competitors. Untangling who made what with whom and whether further innovations can take place gets tricky. Someday, perhaps, everyone will be able to look back and laugh at the whole thing as an episode. Call it the Clone Wars. The one complaint has its roots in those wars. Tier time sides against the open source approach. So for all this unit's ease of use, there is a serious lack of community solutions and enhancements. Please go to botdb.net to see our full review of this 3D printer. Search for the UP Plus 2, or click the link at the bottom of this video.